everyone, it's Justine, and today I'm taking part in the AAA Card Challenge Christmas Challenge, and I'm going to be making a very quick and easy card that you can easily duplicate for your Christmas cards. I'm grabbing a panel that measures 4 by 5 and a quarter, and I'm going to be using the Winnie and Walter, the Big, the Bold, and the Merry set. And this is a really great set for sentiments because it comes with a bunch of really big sentiments like this peace and joy, but it also comes <clears throat> with many smaller words that you can attach to make your own custom sentences. Now I apologize, the screen is a little bit whitewashed. I guess my lamp was on a little too bright, but you'll be able to see no problem. All right, so I picked up the stamps using my Misty stamping tool, and I'm going to be stamping using some Bursa Mark ink because I'm going to be heat embossing this. Now I'm going to be heat embossing in silver, but you could also heat emboss in gold and red, or you could simply just stamp in black or red, and that would be fine as well. So I'm just going to add the embossing powder. I'm using some Ranger Super Fine Detail embossing powder. And I am going to heat that up using my heat tool until it melts. And when it melts, it's going to be quite shiny, as you'll be able to see, which I'm glad you're able to see it because the photo doesn't really capture that shine. It makes for a really elegant and really pretty card without a lot of work. In my opinion, you could even attach this to a card base and send it on its merry way the way it is. Uh, you definitely don't need to add anything else. However, this is me and I do like to embellish a little bit, even though I do like clean and simple. This is going to still keep it clean and simple. So I'm grabbing some dies from Lawn Fawn called Mini Snowflakes, and I'm going to be die cutting them using my Big Shot. And I am using a shim so I can get all the details out of there. So if you don't have one of those and you find it's not die cutting properly, just add a couple of pieces of cardstock um, underneath your cutting plates and that should give it a nice snug fit so that it cuts properly. Now I'm just going to simply take out those die cuts. Um, some of them got stuck in the dies, so I had to poke them out. And then I'm just going to add them to my card. Now you can see how shiny the peace and joy is already, especially with the light on here in my craft room. And it is really just a really pretty shiny card. So I'm just going to finish up by adding a couple of these little snowflakes onto the card panel itself. And I'm just going to really leave it as is after that. So I added three little snowflakes. And then I'm going to attach this to my card base. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is just make my card base. It measures 11 by 4 and a quarter, and you can see I've pre-scored it at 5 and a half inches on the long side to create a top folding card. I grabbed my card panel, and I attached that there to make a white on white look, and you can see just how pretty it ends up turning out, and just how shiny. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you found some inspiration with this quick and easy card. All supplies used can be found in the video description below or on my blog. Thanks so much for watching.